Hey Gemini, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the month of May. Sorry it took me so long to get it out, I've just been busy, just been really, really busy. Busy, 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 and have not just felt led to read, but I have the urge today, really do. I'm going to spend my Saturday evening kicking out some readings. I just have the urge to just kick back with my candles and chill and do some readings, and you are first, so here you go. This is an amazing reading, and it was well worth the wait. This is like epic, epic, Gemini. It's epic. Ugh, it's epic. So, okay, so if you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me, reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, and for the $50 YouTube readings, you can click the link in the box below that will take you to this special page for you guys, okay? All right. Here we go. we got to get straight to the point because this is just so awesome. So the star card, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality in your life, right? I mean, wishes fulfilled on a very deep level kind of card. To the Ten of Cups, harmony, alignment, happiness in your relationships, in your life, just, just, just love everywhere. Ten's the number of completion, right? Cups are about our feels. Our feels are about ultimately love, right? I mean, ultimately everything, if you follow the feels trail, ends with some kind of love. There's so many different kinds of love. But anyway, you are just on top of the freaking world, topped off by the sun card. Positivity, warmth, success, vitality, happiness. Just pure, utter happiness in those three cards right there. Dun, dun, dun. Then we get this, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords to the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Swords. Something bad happened here. Something bad. And when I was asking for this Ten of Swords, the um, Three of Cups flew out. But I thought it was an accident, right? Because, you know, sometimes it is. And so I just flipped it back in the deck real quick and just kept on going, right? Um, so with the three of cups coming out like that, maybe that was an indication that this heartbreak, betrayal, death to something twice, walking away with the eight of cups with feelings of, of escapism and disappointment and abandonment and hopelessness walking away, right? So some really, something really bad happened here could have to do with the third party situation. Doesn't have to. Anywho, so really bad happened right there, right? Relationship, job, whatever. Yeah. Four of Wands comes in, says you're transitioning from this, right? The, the, so this is like what is the crowning energy right here because now you're happy. And now you're going through some kind of transition after this, right? After this. So you're transitioning into something and you're just on top of the freaking world, Gemini, just on top of the world. Queen of Wands comes in, says you're feeling exuberant and vibrant and freaking determined, determined, clarified by that King of Swords. You are making decisions, right? This is Gemini. You are making decisions right there um, about your own happiness, about your own, your own joy in your life followed by the seven of pentacles right you're going to invest some serious effort into your future seven is the number of the number of contemplation it's reflection and assessment right questioning your motives other people's motives it's about spirituality observation, investigation, and discovery, right? And that's what you're doing with this King of Swords right here. That's the decision that you're making. You are, you are going to do what makes you happy, Gemini. To the Two of Wands, planning for your future, making progress, making decisions, doing discovery, and planning for your future beautiful. The Fool card comes in. About to take a new journey. Have a brand new beginning. Take a new journey. Chariot comes in and says, locomotion, baby. You're going to just roll on out. You're going to roll on out. You're going to gain momentum and you're going to gain momentum and you're going to gain momentum. 
and you're going to be going full blast before you know it because the bridge between the fool and the chariot is the star card again, right? Now, this is the root of this. This is the same card right here, right? This card is what is making you so happy. And you are so happy because you took this new journey. You made a decision, a determined decision to do for yourself and plan for your future. And off you go with the fool, charging ahead with the chariot, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on your mind. Eight of Pentacles, putting the wood to the fire, putting the wood to the fire, working hard, right? Working hard, putting in the time, putting in the effort, and building something freaking amazing with your life. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. To the Two of Pentacles, balance, priority, adaptability, right? That goes right along with this Eight of Pentacles right here. That's your that's your mojo right now. Just cranking away, right? He's banged out seven of these pentacles already. He's banging out number eight and he's just working away. And that is your energy right here. Balance, prioritization, and adaptability in your in your energy. That's what, you, what you're doing, gems. Ace of Cups comes in, says that you have overwhelming emotion. Well, hell yeah. Look at that. Of course you have overwhelming emotion. You have, you have the star, the 10 of cups and the sun. Of course you have overwhelming emotion. It's amazing. You are feeling like a freaking rock star to the six of pentacles. Not only do you have enough, but you have enough to share to the emperor. This is about the authority, the control, the structure, the establishment of your life. You are large and in charge right here, Jem. Large and in charge as the emperor. I know you're not a fire sign, but in this reading, you are the emperor. To the hermit, right? So all this beautiful, beautiful, I mean, just, just beautiful, right? And then we got the hermit followed by the wheel. Super intriguing, right? Why, Jem? Why the hermit? Because it was in that hermit energy, which would have been here. So in this hermit energy, you come to absolute crystal clear clarity about what you're going to do and how you're going to handle yourself. Judgment trajectory change. Yesterday I was this way. Today I am this way. Black and white cutthroat decision. To be the nine of pentacles. Self-sufficient, independent. Wow, that's beautiful, right? So in that hermit mode right there, when you made that decision, the minute you made that decision as a precursor to all of this happiness and everything, right? The minute you made the decision to kick this shit to the curb right here, whatever this was for you, whatever it was, a job that sucks, a boyfriend that sucks, a girlfriend that sucks, husband, wife, kids, you know, <laughs> we, we got to love them, but we don't always have to like them. Whatever it is for you, whatever you ended in your life right there, started this wheel turning for you. The wheel of fortune, a turning point in your destiny. Good luck, karma, life cycles, and a turning point in your destiny. So that decision that you made in this hermit mode up here about whatever this was, this painful double, <laughs> this painful double ten of swords, and walking away with the Eight of Cups. Whatever this pain was right here, the decision that you made in this hermit mode started this wheel turning for you. And we could actually do it like this, honestly. So whatever decision you made in this hermit mode started this wheel turning for you and pushed all of this into your life. Pushed it all into your life. Isn't that freaking amazing? 
That is so amazing. So good job, Gemini, making a decision, the right decision, and being rewarded handsomely. I mean, like I am jelly, really. This is a beautiful reading. This Wheel of Fortune, this is going to take you into your future. And it's going to be a, a, a life cycle ending and a new life cycle beginning for you and a turning point in your destiny. What lies in the future? We, will, we, we shall see how this energy unfolds for you guys. But this is a beautiful reading and I cannot wait to do the mid-month and um, June's because I can't wait to see how this story unfolds. Y'all drop me a comment. If you liked this, please like it. It means a big deal to YouTube people if you like their stuff. So if you liked it, like it. If you haven't subscribed, join the tribe and subscribe. Okay, subscribe. No free rides. Join the tribe. Subscribe. Hey, I just came up with that. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So there you go, gems. You have beautiful things coming your way. And um, man, this is awesome. And I wish you all the best. Namaste.